with us on this afternoon all right i hope you all had a fantastic weekend and today unfortunately it's going to be our last virtual music uh day with each other but miss mcfarren has missed your faces so much and have missed making music personally in the classroom with you all but i do hope you have a fantastic summer and i hope that you enjoy today's lesson now Tomorrow is Cinco de Mayo, so we're going to make our own homemade morale, okay? Now, the things that you would need in order to complete this task. First, you would need an empty, clean water bottle with a top, so make sure your water bottle has a top. You can use one this size, or you can use one that's half this size that's a small one, right? You also need an empty roll of toilet paper, okay? So make sure you have an empty roll of toilet paper. Next, you will need scissors and tape. Any kind of tape is perfectly fine. Um, don't use the white tape, but use something colorful and pretty, all right? Next, you can use for your maraca, homemade maraca, you can use pasta. If you have pasta at home, or you can use beads, okay? So I'm using some old beads that I had around here. You can use those to put in your maraca. Once you have all of those items gathered, whatever you want to put in your maraca, you can put these, pasta, beans, or rice, anything that you want to use. Once you have all those items gathered, come on back and let's make us a homemade maraca, all right? To get started making my maraca, I am going to start with an open and freshly clean water bottle. You still have some water in there that is perfectly fine, but we're going to start with a clean water bottle. I have poured all my bees on a paper plate that I have, and I am going to carefully put them in here inside the water bottle so they won't waste. So they won't waste all over my floor. Um, so make sure that you do this carefully. All right. So. You can fill it up halfway, or you can fill up the whole water bottle, whichever is fine. There we go. Hopefully this is enough beads. I think we got a little bean pot in there. We almost got enough filled in there. It's looking good so far, you guys. All right, so I got about halfway, but I'm going to finish filling up the rest of my bottle with the rest of these beads. So you'll fill up your bottle according to the type of sound that you want for your maraca. I want mine to have a full sound and a loud sound. in there. And like I said, you don't have to use beads. 
You can use anything, pasta, rice, um, beans, anything that will make the sound that you're desiring to look, to have, you can use. All right, so I think I'm gonna stop right there with filling it up. Now, next, I am going to put the top. Put the top on there, make sure that these don't fall out. And it's sounding good already. Now, with my tissue, I'm going to put that on the top. Now, with that, I am going to use the tape, and I'm going to tape. When you tape, you're gonna start from right here where my fingers are. You're gonna start from right here, and you're gonna tape it all the way around, okay? This is going to eventually turn into your handle of how you're going to shake your maroc, okay? I have a couple more beads I'm gonna drop in there that I found. Uh-oh, some of them ran away. All right, so next, we're gonna take our tape, okay? Don't use a lot, but use just enough to get it around and fill up that whole tissue up, okay? I'm going to cut. Let's see. Uh -oh. Now, like I said, when you start to take your maraca, make sure that your handle is sitting up straight. Let me scoot out some so you can see. Make sure your handle is sitting up tall and straight so that you are able to take it on straightly. You don't want to have a loopy handle, okay? Make sure you put your tape on there and then you begin to take it all the way around. Make sure I keep it in the angle so you all can see it. <laughs> Let's try it this way. Ah. All right. There we go. We're going to slowly but surely get there. There we go, almost there. Right. And I'm gonna tape up, get some more tape to tape up because I want all of that brown part, I want that to be covered with tape. Now, your tape does not have to be perfect, but it needs to be secured on there so that your handle won't fall apart. Put that on there, like so. Let's take it all the way around. And it's starting to look good, I think. All right, I think we're gonna leave that just about one more piece. We'll be good to go. All right, our last piece. pieces that are sticking up. We can fold those down and so, And we have our homemade maraca. as good as mine. I can't wait to see what it looks like on the comments below. Have a fantastic summer and a good rest of your week.